<laughs> Greetings, peons. It is I, the instructor of Talaria State University, and I come here today to bring you misery, to bring you sorrow and despair. So, you know, no real drastic change from the day to day of the last year or so. Now, it's a fundamental truth that when you've been made to feel so bad for so long, you jump at the chance to do it to others. Enter Commander. <laughs> and after the grueling process of figuring out how to arrange a game of webcam Commander, your friends will be ripe for the plunder. And speaking of plunder, before I reveal these five degenerate commander combos for degenerate, dirty Magic the Gathering players such as yourselves, first, a word from this video's sponsor. <laughs> I'm so evil, you'd think I worked for Hasbro. This evil listicle is brought to you by Audible, sponsor of this video, and offering you such a great promotion that you'll have no choice but to admit, dang, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> Sign up, my pets, because when you visit audible.com slash Tolarian Community or text Tolarian Community to 500-500, you'll get a credit for your choice of any title from the entire Audible library. A free audiobook? Oh, come on. Those titles are yours to keep forever in your Audible library. Who are you to resist this? You'll also get full access to Audible's Popular Plus catalog. It's simply filled with thousands upon thousands of audiobooks. Well, redeem your credit for whatever you like, but I recommend The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. Cavalier and Clay is about the deep ties of the comic book industry and its stories of superheroes to the very culture and modern era development of the United States. Exploring the fictitious comic book hero, The Escapist, we witness the real world development of what we know as present day comic books and the parallels to our present day national ethos. So why would I, the evil instructor, recommend such an excellent work of literature? Well, you know, it's, it's just been a really hard year, okay? I mean, I had all these really evil plans. I wanted to hang out with my evil friends at my favorite evil symposiums, or magic fests, as they call them now. And it's, it's just been a lot, okay? I need a way to feel connected to a world that I have so often felt disconnected from this past year. And I really liked The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. So, yeah, I recommend it. <sighs> <clears throat> I'm evil! I'm evil! So start listening now with a free 30-day Audible trial and get full access to thousands and thousands of all-you-can-listen audiobooks, original entertainment and podcasts included in the Plus catalog. Visit audible.com slash Tolarian Community or text Tolarian Community to 500-500. <laughs> Now, let us begin our degeneracy with a commander card combination that's even more outrageous than Wizards of the Coast making you have to redeem your rare wild cards just to get Mystic Archive Commons on Magic Arena. Don't think it's possible for a combo to be more nasty than that? Understandable. And yet... This first combo is inspired by a Commander classic from days of old. Mycosynth Lattice is a card that exists solely to bring unpleasantness to Commander. It's six for an artifact that makes all permanents artifacts, in addition to their other types. Oh, so you all see this and laugh as you talk about casting Khan, the great creator, to shut down your opponents, or better yet, steal everything with a well-timed swing from a Hellkite Tyrant. But I don't just want simple success, I want misery. Using this as inspiration, I suggest instead you cast Enchanted Evening to make everything an enchantment. And then it's merely a quick self-sacrifice of an already established aura thief, so that all enchantments are now yours. 
feel like rubbing extra salt into the wound? Resolve opalescence, and now your opponents have no lands, and never will. All is ours, or better yet, mine, thanks to this enchanted evening of evil. Whew, the evil stank is strong with that one. Coming up next is a commander combo that makes the Throne of Eldraine Deluxe Collection look like a good faith offering to loyal players. And they were charging $449 for a cut up uncut sheet and non-exclusive art print. <laughs> Still gives me shivers of joy. Because I'm evil! Long ago and far away, on the schoolyard blacktop is where I first saw the embodiment of degeneracy show itself in the form of a freckle-faced child, casting Clone Legion with a Warstorm Surge. Pricey evil, Clone Legion is seven and double blue for a sorcery. For each creature target player controls, create a token that's a copy of that creature. And Warstorm Surge, of course, is five and a red for an enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. So you're creating these wonderful little tokens, copies of your opponent's armies, and having them slap your enemies silly. But it's very pricey, and I want more unexpected results anyway. That's why I began thinking about resolving a repercussion. This lovely enchantment is only one in double red. Whenever a creature is dealt damage, repercussion deals that much damage to that creature's controller. Simply cast a blasphemous act. Make sure you don't have too many creatures in play when you do. But if your opponents have four creatures each, or in some cases even three, depending on how far in the game you are, this is an instant win. For evil, we're up to card combo number three on this most evil of listicles. And after you see this interaction, I think you'll agree it is far, far more degenerate than that time Wizards of the Coast stuffed brawl decks full of newly designed must-run commander cards like Arcane Signet just to try and force the community to buy into the idea of standard commander. Commander that rotates. <laughs> I'm just honored to know they're reading my letters. Our opponents having lands certainly is a pesky problem, don't you think? That's why I like natural affinity, an instant that makes all lands 2-2 two -two creatures until end of turn. Then all it takes is something as simple as a Massacre Worm or Elish Norn to wipe out all lands, except of course for your own. But again, it's just so many steps. Why not simply go mono black and cast Contamination, where for two and a black, you get an enchantment that reads, if a land is tapped for mana, it produces black instead of any other type and amount. Now, it also reads that you need to sacrifice a creature each upkeep, but we're in black. Making creatures to sacrifice is easy. From Ophiomancer to Bitter Blossom to many, many more. We can take contamination and look at Blood Moon and say, is that all you got? We now have but two evil exercises of excruciation left. And this next one is even more disgustingly degenerate than that time Wizards of the Coast reprinted Fetchlands in a secret lair that cost $400 just to get five pieces of cardboard that were themselves only worth $250 and then held it up as a means of increasing affordability and access. Oh, good times, good times. I mean, evil times. Truly, there is no degeneracy greater than a knowledge pool. I mean, just look at this thing. I'm bored trying to read it. It's like Ice Cauldron. Everyone fell asleep before finishing reading what it does. But for those who could stay awake, it maybe gave some sinister ideas. Because Knowledge Pool asks you to imprint meaning that when it enters the battlefield, each player exiles the top three cards of their library. And then whenever a player casts a spell from their hand, that player exiles it. If the player does, they may cast a spell from among other cards, exiled with Knowledge Pool, without paying its mana cost. Why is this so rotten, you ask? Just imagine anything from a rule of law, 
or arcane laboratory in play. Everyone is locked out of the game. Now you're already screaming, but even we are, but even we are. Well, a true clever mind will only cast this when they're ready to move in for a kill, as it keeps anyone from interfering. But if you really want to get clever, just wait until you're down to one major threat of an opponent and cast a curse of exhaustion upon them. That one opponent is unable to do anything, but you are still free too. Free to make them miserable, ha ha ha. Our final degenerate combo for Commander is so nasty, so evil, so indecent. It's even worse than the idea of Wizards of the Coast charging a $200 subscription fee just to give you the right to buy exclusive secret layers. And that combo is... Stop right there, instructor. What's this? The professor? Your consumer advocacy has no power here. That's where you're wrong, because my research shows that this next combo is in no way as degenerate as Wizards of the Coast charging customers $200 just to sell them additional cards. Research? You? You mean reading Reddit and posting snarky tweets? <laughs> Silence. Oh, I should have known. Nothing could ever be more degenerate than Wizards of the Coast's plan to charge $200 just for the privilege of spending even more money on exclusive secret layers. Nothing, nothing is more evil than that. Well, nothing so far. It's still only April. Fair point. I mean, no! Glad he's gone. But to be fair, the combo he was about to show was pretty nasty. Let's take a look at it now. So as I looked at the evil instructor's notes, I saw they had scrawled the message, just don't let anyone cast spells ever. And below it, the single word, Solemnity. Solemnity is an enchantment that reads, players can't get counters, but also says counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. Further still below it upon the parchment, the instructor had scrawled a decree of silence for all, dot dot dot, except for me, evil cackle. And indeed, decree of silence, which is six and double blue is an enchantment that reads, whenever an opponent casts a spell, counter that spell and put a depletion counter on decree of silence. If there are three or more depletion counters on decree of silence, sacrifice it. Ah, but with solemnity in play, no counters will be placed upon the decree of silence, meaning it will continue to counter every single spell your opponents cast and never ever go away. And unlike a lot of other lockdown combos, this one doesn't affect you. So you have essentially just locked everyone out of playing the game. Do not do this. It is evil. It is degenerate. I do not endorse it. I am showing you this so that you know to stay away from there. You're welcome. Thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for marketing models so sinister, I used it to banish evil incarnate from my office. Bah! I should have known even my evil is no match for the Hasbro Corporation's analog gotcha paradigm for Magic the Gathering. Well, nonetheless, I hope you found this video to be most unhelpful. <laughs> and remember, start listening with a free 30-day audible trial and get full access to thousands and thousands of all-you-can-listen audiobooks, original entertainment and podcasts included in the Plus catalog. Visit audible.com slash Tolarian Community or text Tolarian Community to 500-500. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did the ad integration read again. At the end, there is no escape from Talaria State University and great deals like this. Ha ha ha!